Well, Paul loves all the Paul songs. Anytime I sent him a Gene one, he'd send me like a puke emoji or something like that. Um, I think uh, Love's a Deadly Weapon, he he wrote Bad Van Halen. I'm like, it's your song. He's like, no, it's not. <laughs> um, but he loves, we've done, we've done Heart of Chrome from Revenge and Silver Spoon from, uh, from, from Hot in the Shade. And Silver Spoon got to number 21 on the charts. And Paul really loved both of those very complimentary and, and very, you know, um, impressed, shall we say. And then with Gene, we've done No, 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 and Loves a Deadly Weapon, but we just did Good Girl Gone Bad, and that one went to number 10 on the charts. And Gene is very appreciative. And they both are. I mean, I, I think it's cool for them to know that you can release these songs to the radio and people will listen to them. Like getting a top 10 song isn't easy to do. Mm. And to do it with a once again an obscure Kiss song from, you know, thirty seven years ago, like that's not easy to do. But the reason why it works is these songs are very good songs, and we play them a little bit more modern, add a little bit more punch to them, and that sort of a thing. But a good song is a good song. I think Gene and Paul both appreciate the fact that we're doing this and spreading, you know, spreading these these songs to to to, to younger generations that probably don't even know who Kiss is. Mm -hmm. And now they do. And, and if they do know Kiss, they certainly don't know the material from the Crazy Nights, Hot in the Shade, you know, Asylum Records. And that's kind of what we're doing. So I think they appreciate it. They're, they're both very um, uh, supporting of it, especially when it's their respective songs that they wrote. 